Okay, so this is part three of our videos. Um, so we just solved for time. So we now know the correct numbers for these. Okay, so now we can finally get to these last two points. Okay, so for looking at our equations here, we now know this is 1.5 and total time equals three seconds. Okay, so now we can finally find this distance, okay? And I don't know how to do this neatly here. We can also find that distance, okay? So those are the two pieces were gonna be the final piece of the puzzle here. So the question is how can we find those two? So let's start with our height, okay? So we know dy is what we're looking for, dy, okay? Um, and what are some things we know about? We know our initial velocity is 15 meters per second. We know our final velocity equals zero meters per second. We know acceleration equals negative 9.8, okay? Um, we even know time equals 1.5 seconds, okay? That means we're gonna have a number of choices uh, to, that would work for us for equations, okay? Um, the one thing that must be true, okay? We know the one that's not gonna work for us is that one, okay? We can't use that. Um, velocity changes, so we cannot use this one, okay? But other than that, um, we have a fair bit of choice in terms of do we want to use uh, this one? Do we want to use one of the other ones? Well, I always start with that one, so let's go ahead and give that a try and see what happens here, okay? So, um, y equals to Okay, so this, that's what we're trying to solve for, which is convenience already there for us, plus 15 meters per second times time, we already know, right? 1.5 seconds, we just solve for that, plus one half, 1.5. Squared. All right, so that means we should just be able to grab a calculator here. All right, so we plug all those numbers in and we get dy equals 11.475 meters. Okay, um, and that gives us our distance in the y. So now we can do the last part here. I have all my pieces together. Okay, so now we know this number. And our, we can do our final one with our distance in the x. Okay. So what do we know about this? We know our original position is zero meters. We know our um, velocity in the x. What was our velocity in the x? All the papers here. And our velocity in the x was 26. Okay, we also know our total time was three seconds. Okay, in case that's important, we also know our acceleration. Okay, so now we can go through and make some choices here in terms of what equation is going to give us dx if we know our velocity and our time. And by the way, the acceleration doesn't change. Okay, um, so we can use a variation on this one, okay, which is going to look a lot like this.
Okay, so that right there, or plugging it into this one, will give us our initial or final distance. Okay, um, you could have plugged it into this, that would have been a zero, and then you would have gotten basically this equation. Okay, um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Okay, so I had zero plus 26 times three seconds equals, okay, we can have our calculator again. Twenty six times three. Okay, so that should give us everything that specific question was asking for, which, let's be honest, was quite a bit.